Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about our plugin GIF Preorder for WooCommerce. And in particular, we're going to learn how we can customize the pre-order button that will replace the default Add to Cart. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's start! Okay guys, whenever a product is set to pre-order mode, by default the plugin replaces the Add to Cart button with a pre-order one. For this new button, we will be able to customize the label as well as the colors. So let's go ahead and see how we can configure this. As you can notice, at the moment we are already inside our plugin, so from here we need to go to our Style tab. Here we're going to find this option, Pre-order button label, where we can enter any label of our choice. For example, we can set here this one, pre-order now. Then below this field, we're going to find this option that will allow us to decide whether we want to customize the pre-order button's colors or not. If we do want to customize it, we can simply enable this option and then from this field below, we're going to be able to set the colors for the background, the background hover, the text and the text hover. To see an example, we can change the colors of the background in background hover. In this case, we can set a color blue for the background, like this one, and for the background hover, we can set this one. Perfect. Now, we're ready to take a look at our button from the front end. For that, we simply save our options over here, and now we can go to our site. In here, we can see our custom pre-order button, both with the colors and the label of our choice. Now, if we would like to set a different label for specific products, this is also possible as the global button settings can be overridden at the product level. Let's have a look at this option too. For this, let's click over here in the Edit Product. Then we need to go to Product Data and Pre-order. In this case, of course, the pre-order option is already enabled, so we need to scroll down until we find this option. Override Text and Labels. If we do enable it, then below we're going to find this field that will allow us to enter a custom label for this specific product. For example, instead of the default pre-order now that we have configured from the global settings, we can enter pre-order today. Now let's update our product and we go back to the front end. Here, if we refresh the page, we can see how the label has changed from pre-order now to pre-order today. Well guys, that was it for today's video, but stay tuned as we will continue to share more videos on how to manage our plugin GIF Pre-Order for WooCommerce. So I will see you next time, bye bye!